Hello and welcome back to the channel, How We Move the Decimal. In today's video, I am photographing slides from 1997 to sell on eBay. I'm using a light board that I got off Amazon. It is actually a tracing board. That is why there's little dots on it. You can kind of see it at the top. And so to have those not show up in my pictures, I do put a piece of thin printer paper on top to kind of diffuse the light when I'm taking pictures. These slides, I went through and marked like, um, just pulled all the 1997 slides out. And this is kind of where if I didn't have like a specific location on the slides, or if there wasn't enough of those slides to really be standalone, I would often bunch up years together. So, you know, if I didn't have enough of 97, I might do all of the 90s bunched up together. And this is pretty common, especially with the later a like ages of the slides. The newer the slides were, the less likely I was to have a bunch of them. Because uh, by the time the 90s went, came around, those of us that lived through the 90s, you had to special order slides. Slides were not like the go-to. This was the get duplicate prints in, you know, 60 minutes type era. So there's not a lot. Uh, and honestly, I had very few slides from the 80s. I almost like skipped the 80s, like the 80s didn't happen. But I did have a lot of slides from the 50s and 60s, some from the 70s, and then just a handful from the 90s with none from the 80s in this particular estate sale. I try not to mix my estate sales up just for continuity, if nothing else for myself. I know where they're located at in my storage area and it just helps that way. That being said, I have several lots, a very small amount of slides that I think I'm going to go through and bunch a bunch together because these have been listed for two plus years and are not selling. So if I can get 200 of them instead of selling five to 10 each time, I can sell 200. So that is my plan when I do get through all of the slides is to go back and bunch up some of my old quantities together just to move them because slides some stuff you can store for a long period of time and you don't risk damage happening to them while you're storing them however slides every year i store them i risk damage happening to them i do store them in a climate controlled area in a humidity controlled area but it's still being stored so i risk the chance of mold that i may not have seen pop up on them and that is a genuine worry when it comes to slides where it might not be the same thing when it comes to clothing. However, I've had some clothing sellers say that stains have just appeared on their clothing items over the years because they had been stored for so long. They just kind of developed in the airtight containers. So you have to be aware of that with any things. Some booksellers are worried with old books, vintage books, very antique vintage books, rotting, um, you have that problem with shoes, especially vintage shoes. You have sole rot, dry rot, and the soles that you have to be aware of. I'm aware of that when I sell vintage sheets, especially fitted sheets. Every day I have is a day closer to maybe that the elastic rotting out of it. So all of that, when I do go through and look at my inventory, I will test it. Uh, I don't really sell shoes and if I do sell shoes, they're brand new shoes that my children outgrew before they even were able to wear them. I'm not selling vintage shoes. I did buy myself a pretty awesome pair of vintage green Pumas that the whole entire sole just crumbled off the shoe. It was so bad. It had rotted so bad. I'm happy I didn't spend more than $2 on them. But I'm also aware that that does happen and other resellers have talked about that when selling vintage shoes. And I've kind of just stayed away from them because of that. In today's video, I wanted to talk about the Habitat for Humanity Restore. Look in your area, they probably have it. Most large cities have one. The city I currently live in does not have one. But when we drove an hour away to go shopping for my birthday and do some thrifting there, they did have a habitat restore. So I was able to go in and look at that. You can get building supplies there, furniture, um, cabinets, 
bathroom stuff, all of that can, you know, they carry that flooring, tiling, dishes, dinnerware, decorations. This one that we went to also had like books and soft goods. They did not have clothing. But basically anything that you can get for your house, it was there. There were golf clubs, there was some fitness equipment, and I'm assuming they were like lumping golf clubs and other sporting equipment in with fitness equipment that you could put in your house. Uh, if you were doing like a small bathroom or something, you could definitely get the tiles that you needed for that there. There was camping stuff there. There was uh, lots of books, decorative items, wall hangings, lamps, couches, desks, beds, dry erase boards. Uh, see what else? The office supply stuff. So like file cabinets. There was a full size one of those crazy Xerox copy machines that you have to crawl in and like essentially change the ink. I remember that from when I was in grad school, we had one of those really big Xerox things and I had to change the ink once and it was horrible. And because, you know, grad assistants get the crap jobs, I had to crawl into the Xerox machine to change the ink and the ink when I pulled it out, the empty, quote unquote, empty ink cartridge when I pulled it out, squirted all over me like a pissed off squid and I was black, like my hands were black. I had it on my face and it stained because it was concentrated ink. It was so bad. It smelled bad. And then I put the new ink cartridge in and I just remember that night I had to also then go and proctor an exam in a class and I was just covered in ink. I couldn't get it off of me. I used rubbing alcohol. I used acetone. I was miserable. My hands were stained for weeks. It was so awful. And I don't wish that on anybody. But when I saw it, I had like, I cringed a little bit like, ah, oh, I know that. I know the thing. Uh, even now when I'm at work and I have to mess with the copier, I, I'm the go-to person to fix jams. I happened to talk to one of the secretaries in the building and I asked her, you know, our, the copier in our office keeps jamming. What can I do about it? And she showed me all the different doors you have to open. You can pull jams out. So now when it jams, I'm just like taking it apart and opening doors and pulling jams out of it. And, but I'm not changing ink cartridges. That is above my pay grade. But it, you know, they had one of those there. We were looking for ourselves personally not to resell. But if you like resell, like if you did um, like nuts and bolts and faucets and all of the stuff, I don't know, I don't, it's not hardware technically, but all of the stuff you use in making supplies, uh, plumbing supplies, carpentry supplies, if you sold power tools, stuff like that, that would be great. We were there looking for a full-size mirror for our bedroom, did not find it. We were also looking for a lamp for our living room. Our living room has uh, really poor lighting. It's a very large room with one central light that just doesn't do it. So the corners of the room are completely dark still, even with the light on. We were looking for standing lights to put in each corner of the room. We did not find what we were looking for. I found one that was maybe, but you know, when you look at a lamp, especially if you have children and cats or a cat and multiple children, you want something that's sturdy. And the one I liked swayed a little too much when you just even turning it on, which was a no for me. But it's a very inexpensive way to look for things. Uh, they were selling tile for like 25 cents a square foot. Uh, they are not going to cut it for you like they would at like uh, a hardware store or something that when we redid our bathroom, we got the tiling at Lowe's and because it was glass tile, they cut it all for us there for free because we were buying the tile there, which was really nice. But the you're not going to get that at the Habitat Restore. They're not cutting anything for you. And what's there is what's there. You can't be like, oh my gosh, I need one more box of this tile, which we had happen to us. Or 
uh, it's there. It's all they, their inventory is there. They don't have any more of it. So you very, you need to know what will work. Now, if I was getting stuff for an office, like a desk or anything, there were several really nice desks there that were tempting. Um, but the, yes, there were things you could sell. They had DVDs and stuff too. There were things you could sell, but none of them were my niche. And I knew that going in. I knew we had a very specific things we were looking for. We were looking for a desk chair for me, a full length mirror, uh, lighting for our living room. Didn't find any of it, but looked around and honestly, we didn't end up buying anything there. But it is an option because a lot of times those of us that resell are also trying to be thrifty and save money. So if you're doing home improvement stuff or if you're looking for a particular piece of furniture, the Habitat Restore is a decent option and the money goes to a good cause. Also, you can donate to the Habitat Restore nice used furniture, extra building supplies. We had an extra half a box of tiles after we did our bathroom and we were able to donate those. So anything building supply wise, if you rip out your kitchen sink, but it's a really good functional kitchen sink, you just aesthetically didn't like it, you can donate it to the Habitat Restore. So that is an option for sourcing and for donating and look into them. If you have one locally, look into your Habitat Restore. So thank you for watching. Please stay and watch the digitized slides at the end of the video and please like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more Even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins Pierce my heart straight through I got issues in my head I like you in my bed But you keep me on red Oh Everything is like a test I better not text or I'll come off desperate But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead Baby, you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Think you're something out of my nightmares Standing right there But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead Then will you get bored again? So if I play dead Regret everything that you did, that you said I don't think you understand what you're doing And my heart's black and blue from the bruising I feel like when I'm with you I'm losing I feel like you think that this amusing Sitting there gaslighting and confusing Was it me? Is it me? Am I deluded? I'm the one who's always sorry, the conclusion Even though I offer all of the solutions I wish you loved me like I love you, it's stupid When I'm alone with you, I never feel lucid I wish I wasn't struck by Cupid I wish when I first saw you, I knew this When I'm with you, I feel so useless I feel diluted, my heart's been wounded Silhouettes of you are like a dawn Never really know just what you want with you, I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever want to give me wings You don't ever want to set me free But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead Baby, you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Think you're something
Silhouettes of you are like a taunt Never really notice what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palm Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever want to give me wings You don't ever want to set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through I got issues in my head, I like you in my bed But you keep me on red, oh.